Sydney. I'm Jono. And I'm Ian, and we're Bike Gearheads. Welcome to the 2023 Gravel Bike Guide. And this is the Envy Mog. It's a gravel bike from Envy. It is their first production gravel bike, and it is a great kind of all around graveler. So you can adventure on it, you can race on it. They tried to blend the two, and I think they did a great job uh, yeah. doing so. I agree. They slack out the head tube angle a little bit, and they add a bunch of mounts for bags and racks and stuff. So, yep. That's but you can, awesome. you know, not mount things and take those screws out, and you still have a lightweight racing bike. Yeah, I think some people are putting like electrical tape over the little openings to yeah, save so a little racy. bit of weight. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely a fast bike, but it can also bike pack. Pretty fun. Yeah. And speaking of bike packing, we actually. Me and Sydney, we uh, did a little bike packing adventure and I got to ride the Mog. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you can share that video over here. Um, since you've had a little bit of time on it, what are the ride characteristics of this bike? Uh, so it's super efficient, uh, my climbing, and it's also very comfortable descending. Like it's not too harsh when you're on chunky descents, which I was very surprised. Um, we talked about the Ibis Hawk a little bit and it is, it's a more compliant, I guess, and comfortable bike than that. Um, so I'd say, it's more comfortable than a lot of other bikes out there. And we're definitely fans of Envy. Their offices are right up the road from us in Ogden. We're in Park City. So yeah. it's very exciting to see a local bike brand putting out some really cool products. Oh, for sure. Smog. And maybe that's why it does so well in our area is because it was designed for our type of riding. That's a really good point. Yeah. Sweet. So give me all the tech specs about this bike. I'm super curious. Where should we start? I think we should start <laughs> from the front end of the bike. OK, let's do it. So how about the cable routing? Uh, internal, all of it. Yep, all internal, which is really nice. And then uh, I guess we can talk about both wheels at the same time. Does, can it run a 650 or is it 700 only? 700 only. And what's has, the tire clearance? It has tons of clearance. Okay, and what tire clearance is there? Uh, lots of it, so you can run up to a 50 millimeter. Um, so anywhere from that 30 to 50 range. Great nice. range. Yeah, it's a good range. And then uh, and we decided to stick with a thread threaded bottom bracket. So yeah. which bottom bracket is it? Because it's not just BSA. Yeah, it's the T47 threaded. Yeah. So it gives you a lot of options for cranks. Um, and we're kind of fans of T47. It's, it's been out there for a little while, and I think it's proven itself as being one of the best options. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good option for yeah. sure. And then if you go up just a little bit, boom, you hit kind of a cool feature underneath yeah. the bottle cage up in the front. The old cargo box, which is where you can, it comes with two sleeves, so you can stack all your, or stash all your tools and maybe some snacks in there into your down tube. Takes away from having to run a saddlebag, cleans up the bike a little bit, and if you need something quick, uh, if you have a, a flat on the road, you can go out there and grab your tools real quick. Yeah. Um, and also, you can route your cables much easier because you have full access to the in, inside of the down tube. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It has like a little flap in there that you, I don't know, is it Velcro or something, but you kind of yeah. put it up underneath yeah. those. It's just, and it straps it's just down cool. cables so it doesn't it. rattle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I really do like that. And then this mod behind us has uh, a special feature in the seat post. Mm. Um, a lot of bikes will run these nowadays, but what is that? That'll be a dropper post. That's the dropper post. If you wow. want to real That sandy. is crazy. So you just go <laughs> full send. Um, and then uh, tell us about some of the places where you can put things on the frame. Yeah, so there's um, mounts on the fork, and then also um, on the top tube, there's the bento box, I guess. Yep. Mount, um, and then you know there's just a lot of room to strap bags on as well if you don't want to bolt onto the frame, which is nice. And that's what I did uh, when I took it touring. Is I just had uh, Velcro bags and worked great, stayed in place. Yeah, and he took my stuff when we went touring too. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> so much it room works. on the bike. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so much room. This frame is definitely specked out with a lot of cool technical features. Um, but what sizes does it come in, Sydney? So there's six different sizes, and it ranges from a 49 to a 61. So you've got every size in between. Yeah, that's awesome. And something unique about this particular frame set is Envy made a different fork mold for each size. So they all come with a different rake. So the ride is the same if you're on a 61 as you are on 49. That's so cool. It is really nice. A lot of bike companies can't do that because they just can't make all those different molds for the carbon. And we really deep dive into this bike in a different video we did when it launched. So if you want to see the Envy Mog release video, it's right up here. Check that out. So, we've got six different size frames, but how many color options do we have? Just one. And honestly, totally okay with just one color because that is probably one of the coolest colors I've seen on a bike. It's called sand, and I think that's pretty, pretty accurate. It is. Pretty yeah. accurate description. And it looks good when you're out in the wild. Yeah, totally. Blends right in. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's only been out for a short amount of time, so there hasn't been too many pros on this thing racing in big races yet, but that is to come, but... Yeah, at Sea Otter, we actually saw Alexei Vermeulen's uh, mod that he's gonna be racing. I think he, did he race that a little bit last year? The mod he did. Yeah, he uh, raced it a little yeah. bit. He won BWR San Diego last year on the Melee, which Correct. is Envy's road bike, but, but then he, he was, did race he, the like, mod. Yeah, I think he was stealthily riding it. Maybe not during yeah. this the big race series, but I think he did a few races on it. Yeah, and he got second in the Lifetime Grand Prix. Overall, yep. Yep, so he's he's really strong. So this bike is definitely made for um, anybody getting into gravel or the pros. Yeah. So what build options do we have for this bike? Frame set. Frame set. A chassis that comes with a seat post and a bar stem. Yep. So that's what we come as, and you, you can, can Build it however you want. You can reach out to one of our gearheads. They can help you through the build process or on our website, we have a great bike builder. You can kind of play around with the pricing there and what components you might want to put on it. Um, for the best experience, I'd say reach out to one of our gearheads and they can walk you through it. That's true. I do love messing with that online bike builder though. It is yeah. fun to Spend kind of see. Spend a lot of time on there. Yeah, yeah it is kind of fun <laughs> to see working. how much it is, how much the weight is, all that stuff. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, John, how would you build it up though? If you were to call in one of our gearheads, what would you say, hey, I want to build this bike up with? I would go SRAM, one by Axis, Mullet, or Explorer. Depends. Yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah, one of the two. And then I'd go, obviously, you have to go with Envy Wheels. I think you'd be, be wrong to go with another brand. I mean, you can, but I think it would be a little out of place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would I mean, be. What? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we have uh, on our, I mean, our bike builder, I guess people have put Zip Wheels on an Envy bike before, and I, I know in, that photo made it to our Instagram and people uh, didn't like that. <laughs> so, I mean, I think the majority of people would go with an NV wheel set. The buyers built this one up and they put um, some pretty awesome stuff on it. They have red axis on there as well as an X01 um, rear derailleur and it also has the carbon wheels. It is three fours. So, um, it also has a dropper. Yeah, so dropper post. my question is how much do you think the one behind us weighs? Um, I should remember from our last video, but I don't, so <laughs> let's find out. I think we should guess the weights. Yes. And um, if you're at home watching this, make sure you leave it down in the comments how much you think it weighs. It's pretty light. It's a 54. It's built big. up with some pretty high components. A lot of carbon on this thing. I'm gonna let you go first. No, you go. No. I'd like the final. Please, ladies first. No, I'll go no. first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, like 17 said. pounds, five ounces. 17.5? <laughs> 17.5. Okay. No, I'll I'm gonna go, say I'll 18. Go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say 18.1. Oh, oh, yeah, of course okay. you were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> 18 pounds, 13 ounces. How convenient for you. <laughs> Since it does have the in route system where everything is integrated in the bars and the stem, you do have some limitations when you start um, trying to run the two by mechanical. Uh, but you're pretty safe with anything electronic. Um, it's just really two by mechanical that you need yeah. to worry about. So, who is this bike built for? Uh, it's for people that want to race, but also has the mounting options for people that want to do more adventurous rides. So it kind of hits, like the Haka, Ibis Haka, it, it kind of hits both those markets and uh, does a really good job, uh, maybe a little bit better than the Ibis Haka, but at a higher price point. So you have to factor that in as well. Um, just depends on your budget. But yeah, I think for the racer and for the adventure cyclist. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. And this bike has a little bit more of what people are used to as far as sizing goes and geometry. So, you know, if you're used to riding some of the big four brands, um, this bike might feel a little bit more like those. So, yeah. a little more, I, I don't want to say traditional because that's not true, but a little more modern as far as the sizing is. What other bikes would be comparable to from the brands that we carry? Yeah, so we talked about the Ibis Haka, very similar. Then there's also the Specialized Diverge. And then there's the Canzo Adventure by uh, Ridley. So these are all really similar to the MOG. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Those are the bikes that we carry that would be like this one. Yeah. So if the MOG does not interest you, uh, we have three other videos on three other gravel bikes that are our favorite for 2023. You can check out those videos in the description below. And if you have any questions on the MOG, feel free to reach out to a gearhead and they can answer any of your questions. And please make sure you like this video. If you have questions, please leave it down in the comments and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you out there. See you on the gravel.